We'll go ahead and open this meeting. It is 2.05 and we're here as the Board of Equalization to hear the evaluation appeal on uh, parcel ending in 2007 Alpha for the Quins. Uh, this is a quasi-judicial hearing and will be recorded as required by law. You'll be sworn in to present testimony. So if you want to speak today, we'll ask you to be sworn in in a moment. Uh, we'll open this uh, hearing with uh, some basic instructions and a schedule. So here's how it will go is we will give you 10 minutes to explain your point of view on your property. Then we'll give the assessor 10 minutes to explain their perspective on the property. And then there'll be some questions from the board and then we'll, we'll deliberate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so if you're going to testify today, I need you to stand and raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, I do. Okay. Please be seated. And then we will start off with uh, the Quins for 10 minutes. If you want to um, share with us what you're thinking and well, I was curious, uh, you know, we're up there on Beaver Creek and a fire swept through every bit of that in 2020, I believe it was. It burnt quite a bit. Now, our particular site where the buildings were, the Forest Service had protected them. So that was protected. But the other, which I assume is the other land on this, a 2.66 acres uh there's nothing left of it it's on a steep hillside and there's not a tree one left right like, like. well there's snags dead yeah, snags you know, yeah. burnt snags and it looks to me like what i see is valued at one hundred and thirty-six thousand eight hundred and forty-six dollars on that and i don't see how we could value something that's There'll never be a tree that could be harvested in my lifetime or in most anybody's English lifetime. And we're looking at 50, 60 years, if you can replant it. Like I say, it's on a very steep hillside. Uh, as far as the buildings go, I didn't understand them going from 35,000 last year to 45,000 this year. Nothing changed. We did build a shed, which is on, it's under 200 square feet. It's on skids, so it can be moved. It's not permanent. And that's basically what I was looking at is, is right there. Um, okay. So, um, we didn't know up. when, when was uh, the last physical assessment was done up there. If anything was done since the fire. Well, and we'll give the assessor a chance to answer okay. that for us here in a second. Right. So um, our question is, um, what was the criteria to increase everything so bad. on our on our assessment? Mm -hmm. Basically, also since that fire, what was the criteria? I mean, the buildings went up twenty seven and a half percent, which is, seems to me kind of ridiculous. That kind of increase. And they're not, they're buildings, but they're basically just pole buildings. There's no sides basically on them that are rough. They just cover some RVs, is what they do. I got another one out there, a small one. This basically we use it as a cook shack. Okay. Anything further you'd like to? Um, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. We wanted to know um, about Governor Little gave property tax reductions. Down. And, um, and we live in Kootenai County, and he's a native of Kootenai County, and uh, we've lived there all his life and all our married life. And Governor Little, actually, our taxes, our, our assessment went down, plus, and we're on 30 acres sure there, sure. and our assessments went down, and plus we got a reduction in our taxes, but um, Shoshone County has increased everything, increased the assessment, increased our taxes, so it's, it's just curious um, why we didn't get that See yeah, yeah, from Governor Little's reduction he gave. My big thing is the property. It's burnt. It's gone. It'll never, 
It, and you can't even call it view property. If you've been up there where we live, you look in any direction, all you see is dead snags. You look across Beaver Creek Road to Steep Hill, as far as you can see to the top, it's burnt dead snags. I, I gave you guys a couple of pictures mm -hmm. of when it was burning because mm -hmm. the Forest Service took us <clears throat> in there and let us get things out of our yeah, camper yeah. in case they couldn't protect our camper. And, and then the other thing is, um, Basically, um, my other question is, um, before our property assessment was just all together, the whole acreage was together, and it seems like just last year, I believe, the criteria other was added to the assessment, and that's when it broke out. We have one acre at 46,184,000, and then the other, which wasn't there in 2022, is, is $136,846. And we're, we're, we're taking other as that burnt property because the category 15 is a rural. And I, I, I'm wondering if things just didn't kind of get flipped or mixed up or something, because who would value a, a mountain of dead burned up? It might have been worth that before it burned. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me give the assessor a chance that maybe they can answer some of the questions. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of questions there. Let's talk about the tax rebate. That was the majority of that was. Is that your primary resident no. in Cooney County? No, it's not. Oh, in Cooney oh, County? In County? County? Yeah. Cooney County, mm -hmm. Yes. So. The majority of that tax rebate went to people with a homeowner's exemption primary um, because the legislature rightfully said we want to keep people in their homes. If you were to lose your recreational property, well, that's too bad, but you'll still have a roof over your head. Sure. So the majority, if, if the one up the river would have been your primary resident, you would have seen the same savings from the state. So again, that is recreational property. Mm -hmm. It's used for recreation. Um, when we raise or lower, it's due to sales. What that effect of the force fire had on you would have to be proved in the market to s determine what that is. Um, I'm sure it bothers you to look at those snakes and stuff. What, um, because how many years have you had that property? Since. Uh at least 25 years. 25 years. Mm -hmm. So you're used to seeing the green and the sure. forest and stuff like that. But yeah. if I come over from Coeur d'Alene to buy a piece of property, I might be willing to pay a good price for it, whether it's well, if or not correctly. Well, I understand the price maybe for the bottom stuff along the creek. Because mm -hmm. not, not you have it broke apart separate here. Yeah. And, yeah. and the stuff on the hillside. Well, it's Let's let him we're, finish we're and then we'll give you closing. All of the acreage, but the one acre that you have the improvements on, we're about higher. So, see that you, that's, mm -hmm. back to the that's not what this, this, yeah, this assessment says. This is saying well, the, 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 that's, that's just the opposite. The, Explain so, to them what the other land is. is that what right. So, you, how many uh, total acreage? Total acreage three point six six. Oh, there are thousand there. plus. Yeah, three point yeah, eight five. I guess. So let's say three point eight five. So we value that as three point eight five. The one acre where all the improvements mm -hmm. and stuff sit, we value higher. It's not, of course, but, but it's never. <laughs> it didn't change from uh, from the two thousand twenty three. The two. 24, that price, that never changed. You include, well, really, uh, the thing that changed was the buildings from one to the other. Is it, is it, you know, the property didn't change. Yeah. No, um, there's a table adjustment that, that varied that. Mm -hmm. um, but no, they didn't add anything. And, and so, those improvements, we have to put a value, current value on it. And as you know, cost of materials skyrocketed, those types of things. So, 
uh, I understand. My son's a builder. Mm -hmm. He's a contractor. So we see all that. When I showed him the price, what this was valued at, he kind of just, uh, maybe. Because he said the, all the uh, stuff would maybe come to $20,000 in materials. The metal, the metal on the roof was the biggest one. That is right. The metal for the roof mm -hmm. and stuff, that was the biggest price. Mm -hmm. In fact, the metal went up atrociously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he built all over Cooper County. Right. You know, so, no, so we see that, but. So, with his travel and labor in that, we'd have to include that also. Okay. Um, Sir, mm -hmm. I'm. I get what you're saying, but you're kind of jumping all over. First, you said the property, the other land, or the other land. You said that rural sub residents, the one acre was higher. It is not higher on this report. It's lower. And the other land, which we're taking as the burned up land, is valued at $138,000. And yeah. two years ago, there was no other. It was all in one at $88,542. Right. And then and the buildings, then buildings after, then were separate. The price goes up after it burns. Well, and this here was before it burned. No. No. What year did it burn? 2020, I believe, or 21. It was 21. 21. 21 it burned. So, yes. That's, <clears throat> I mean, that's our thing, was, is the value of everything went up after it burned. So did, so did value. So if I, if I was to continue on with my appraisal, um, we have to be at market value. State law is market mm -hmm. value. So everybody mm -hmm. buying property of the river has directly influenced the values of your home. Mm -hmm. um, so first I'd like to start out with is the owners of this property did not contact our office before scheduling for a BOE. So mm -hmm. we could have explained a lot of this prior. Um, so the subject parcel is a 3.85 acre lot with a creek running through the front side. This parcel has an eight by 10 shed, an eight by 12 lean to, eight by 12 shed, 14 by 16 pole building, a 20 by 24 pole building, and a 26 by 36 pole building. Um, this parcel is, has two camp trailers and a bus that are not licensed. The state law requires us to put them on the property assessment if they're not, if they're not licensed. I already dealt with that quite a long time ago with Shoshone County. He said, I'd rather give it to Shoshone County than to state. Let it finish. Comparable number one, sold in October of 22. I'm using 22 values because that's where these values have changed. Um, that directly affects your property. Um, this parcel is 2.31 acre lot. It has a 32 by 44 pole building and an 8 by 32 lean to. This parcel is 1.54 acres smaller and has less improvements than the subject property. Comparable number two sold July of 2022 for $145,500. This parcel is a 1.117 acre lot with a 10 by 12 shed on it. This parcel is 2.733 acres smaller than the subject parcel with only a small shed for improvements. Comparable number three um, sold April of 22 for 185,000. This parcel is 2.356 acre lot and is 1.494 acres smaller than the subject and it has no improvements. Um, the burned timber is not in our assessment since we don't assess the land, we assess the land and not the timber. Um, Material and labor costs have gone up, therefore structure values have increased. And using the cost approach, it is in our opinion that this, par this parcel is a fair market value. Now, the, the last time it was um, inspected was in, when did I do the river? 22. I was there in 22. It's the first time I'd ever been there. I didn't see any upgrades. I didn't see any changes that were made to the land other than the fire itself. Correct, correct. So we are not... We're, we're assessing the land. We don't assess the timber that burned. That would be a timber. That would be somebody from the timber department that would that would value those. Um, your, I don't, I'd have to go back into the profile sheet, but I don't think that your one acre own, uh, recreational site was broke out. So that I broke it out because that's what state law says. Recreational land with improvements is one acre. Right. The rest of the rest of the property that you have is other. 
is 2.66 more acres than that one acre lot. So it's going to be worth more because there's more acreage. Correct, but it's also on it. It's just, Burned it's up. just about. And, and there is, and it's graded, and it's graded as such because of the slope, the slope of the hill. I've seen it. I, I know exactly where your place is. I, uh -huh. I know. Yeah, you got to so, right here. Yeah, and uh, you know, and and I could have explained this to you had you guys have called the office. I could have showed you how that was all step by step done. Well, we did call as soon as we got this. I, I did not talk to you. I didn't okay. have any confirmation. Hang on, no. just a second. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so that that explains. Um, each one of these. Now you do have a category 19, which is waste, yeah. which is a 0 0.190 that's not even being assessed. Mm -hmm. It's exempt because it's waste. That little bit was immaterial to me. Right. Is that all I mean, you have? My thing was, it's, it's how the property works. Okay. That is terrible. So, so now we will have questions from the board for you or mm -hmm. for the assessor. Okay. Um, Mr. Sessor, I'm just going to start with one just for clarification. Right now, if I'm reading this right, which could be, I'm not, we got their home acre at, at 46000 for their residential acre. For the recreation. recreation. But then we have the other land, the burned up hill, valued at 51000 per acre when I do the math. So I'm wondering why the hillside is worth more per acre than the home. And so I just did, I divided the 2.6 into the 136 and, and came up with 51,000 an acre, which is considerably more than we're charging them for their home acre. Yeah, I can't. So that, that looked like an error to me. I'd have to agree. Yeah. Because um, most of the time we see the recreational acre being worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm wondering if there isn't uh, a possibility that we need a correction here. And you can do that without a site visit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. yeah. No, I can't. But like I said, you know, had, had they called me, sure, we could have addressed this and not gotten this far okay. or would have had a better explanation had we gotten this far. Sure. But maybe we've found an error that we can fix and that. Okay. Uh, other questions from the board for either the appellant or the assessor? No. No. Okay. So now I want to give you a chance to do your closing comments mm -hmm. and then them, and then we'll do our voting. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to address, you said us call you a couple of times already. So um, I didn't call, we didn't call, because this is, this is your report. This is your profession. Is this is done. what we figure. This is what the county figures. So that's why we're here today. Which is fine, but you, you know, as, as an appraiser for the county, I look at over 1,800 parcels a year. I'm human. <laughs> so I expect when you guys get your evaluations, I would hope that the homeowner would call us to address any errors I may have made to at least draw it to my attention saying, hey, you got some concerns? Well, he caught something that I didn't catch, okay? The difference in the valuation per mm -hmm. acre. We didn't see that. We looked at some property down the road that was 16 acres and what the it's for sale for. Yeah, that was in the and market. its value per acre was way less 30s. than ours. Now, there's nothing on it. It's just bare land and it's down there. Three creeks run yeah. through it, though. Yeah. Flat land. Course, it's 16 acres, so that value is high that way, but not per acre. And my concern was the burnt up land, how it can, the value can go up after. It's like, say, I have a house that's worth a million dollars and it burns to the ground, and you still come in and value everything at the same value. I, I really, I'm mean, sorry, I don't. I understand you're saying you don't want to value the the timber but you got to have somehow a value on something because that land is absolutely useless without that timber on it because it's just like that the, the home site and all that yeah i wouldn't even question that but that stuff that's straight up and down and i didn't catch that that it was per acre i didn't catch that well that's why we have these meetings yeah. so we and this building here is not a fair value no. Our building is not uh, 
a building. I know where this building is right down the road by the store, down by the store. It's the only building that's on that parcel versus the several So that's not even a fair comparison to this. That's us. We're we're under a we're our trailers under a building. This is a building. Sure. Okay. All right. Closing comments from the assessor. Um, we'll be more than happy to take a look at it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the assessor has agreed that they're going to take a look at this thing we've caught with the okay. with your other land being valued higher per acre. Do we need to reschedule on Monday? I don't know where tomorrow, but we wouldn't have to decide this. Uh, what do we have left tomorrow? Not a whole lot. 10 to 1. Um, after 1.30, we're available. If we scheduled you for 1.30 tomorrow, and you could either be present by in person or or not or by phone would you want to and then that would give them a chance to present new numbers so that you could have some feedback on that tomorrow's going to be tough being the third of july yeah we're just up against the deadline by the state that we have to be done by monday and um, we so could, I mean, we could do you, okay could we do it monday next monday, next monday. monday. it'll be the eighth yeah yeah, we I could do it next Monday. That. Monday at what time? Uh, I, I think Heather may have to reach out to you with the mm -hmm. time. Okay, that'd be sure. fine. It'll be in the morning. Okay. All and right. so they will have a chance to look at this and see if they want to make some changes and corrections, and then we'll bring that to you again with that. We okay. still need a motion. I'm just suggesting a solution. We appreciate that very much. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to motion we uh, continue this until Monday. At which point the assessor will have a chance to go through their numbers and see if we can make a change in this. Okay. I'll sign it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right. So with that, we are adjourned and we're back on schedule again. Okay. okay.